Look at this. The Trouble with T-Rex pop-out pack. T-Rex pops out too often, I guess. Alright guys, I am out on 30th Street in Canton here, and we're going to hit another Dollar Tree. This is a pretty big one. I've been in here several times, um, but not recently, so I'm hoping to find still some DVDs and Blu-rays that I have not seen yet on this quest. I may have to go to a totally different area to find different ones, because they might just have, you know, a whole cluster of the same ones in this one area. But let's go on in here and see what we can find anyway. Okay. Look, they got all this stuff for the 4th of July. Which, you know, we have to have our own 4th of July parties. Since they're basically, they're, I don't know, I mean, there's fireworks some places I saw. But they're few and far between this year because of the whole virus thing. But this is cool. I like how they have the red, white, and blue bracelets, the glow bracelets. There's a lot of them in there, eight of them. Let's see, bracelets, glow sticks you can, like, put around your neck and stuff. And I said this in another video, but these are perfect if you go to a drive-in movie. Um, and a lot of drive-in movies are making comebacks right now. You can, uh, you can take these, put them around your kid's neck. <laughs> no, I mean, just give them a, a glow wand, like, this is really cool. Um, or make a necklace or something like that. The glow sticks around their neck. You know, that way, like, you can keep track of them, because it gets dark, and they always want to go to the bathroom. They want to go get snacks and stuff. So that's perfect right there, just to be able to keep track of your kids. Well, let's go out here, see if we can find these DVDs. <laughs> I'm really looking for a bunch that I've seen like other people finding and I'm just not finding them I'm finding the same kinds of things um, everywhere every Dollar Tree that I go to like all those stupid Assassin's Creed DVDs and stuff like that all I can really do is just kind of go up and down these aisles looking for them too you never know where you're gonna find them in here sometimes they're on the uh, the end things there look at this <laughs> puffy monster stickers these are so sweet i love these things look at this cool bro <laughs> sad happy another set oh they got a double sad in there and they got a scared these are pretty awesome man i love those all right let's keep on going here See if we can find our DVDs. This is all toys down here. I got some craft supplies over here. I love doing crafty stuff. I really need to start doing some uh, some Halloween crafts. Some things that I have to be at home to do before I get in my RV. Because I love doing stuff like that. I just I can't do it in an RV. So, Alright, let's keep moving here. Here's those awesome flavored lip balms I saw in the other store, too. I love these things. What in the heck is this? Ryan's World Surprise Flavor. <laughs> okay, that's like mystery meat. I don't think I've been down this aisle yet, and I don't see any anywhere. Come on, where are you, DVDs? I hope when I find them, they have like an enormous selection. They gotta be on the end cap somewhere because I'm just not seeing them anywhere. There's no way that they don't have any in here. Well, here's some up here. A bunch of Blu-rays here. Let's look at the DVDs first. Ooh, Cinnamon Raisin Bagels. Tasty. Song one, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, looking like the same ones again. Oh, I'm sorry. Here's one I have not seen anywhere else. The Ottoman Lieutenant Josh Harnett, Ben Kingsley. Hmm, that looks like it might be pretty good. Uh, I think all these other ones I've seen. This was a different Yu-Gi-Oh than I've seen in the other stores. The other ones have this, but I've not seen this. And, I mean, I don't watch that stuff anyway, but I'm just saying. 
Okay, guys, let's keep on looking here. Yes, Virginia shakes the clown. Oh my gosh, I have not seen this one anywhere. But this is a horribly stupid movie. I hate it so much. It might actually be collectible. All right, let's see here. Jillian Michaels, what's this? That's a series of some kind. Marin 2, here's more Wiggles. We got Sharp. Uh, let's see, nothing in there. Move on to the Blu-rays. Okay, here we go, Earth the Biography. I'm still tempted to get that, but I'm not going to. Oh my god, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed, side by side. Sabrina, Assassin. <laughs> I can't believe this, all these Assassin's Creed. Guys, I just want to buy one and watch it just to see how horrible of a movie it is. Should I? Assassin's Creed, oh my gosh. No, I'm not even interested. <laughs> okay, I looked this one up and it is not collectible it's not really worth anything but I, I did try to watch it once because this guy I used to work with he talked so highly of it he thought it was hilarious Bobcat Goldthwait and he is hilarious but it, the movie just it was horrible I don't even think I made it through the entire movie so oh well there's those I've always thought it was really cool that they have this stuff like these books and then the stickers that go along with them I've always thought that was totally rad. When I was a kid, we used to want these things so bad. Of course, back then it was the 80s, and we wanted, uh, here's basketball, but we wanted the baseball ones. And they were just, I don't know, to us they were too expensive. You know, we didn't get, usually get special stuff like that. Um, the only cards that I really ever started buying and putting a lot of money into were Garbage Pail Kids. Garbage Pail Kids were like the most awesome thing ever. They were so popular. And, uh, and parents hated them, and schools were, like, banning them and everything. But uh, but I loved them, and you were so cool if you had a stack of Garbage Pail Kids, which I actually have at home in my desk. <laughs> I have a ton of them, because I went through a period of time where I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy a ton of Garbage Pail Kids. And I got on eBay, and I just ordered a whole ton of the things. Excuse me. Spent a whole lot of money on them, and actually at a yard sale one day, I found... Man, it must have been about three or four cases of first series Garbage Pail Kids, but they were from the UK. So the UK cards, um, if American cards are this big, the UK cards are only about half the size, but they were still worth a ton of money. Um, I sold a bunch of them on eBay, and I opened a whole bunch of them. Problem was, they had gum in there, and the gum, like, it, you know, they it leaked, and all that sugar ruined a lot of the cards. So, I mean, it was cool to find them anyways. But, uh, but yeah, that was my little, uh, my little garbage pail kid story there for you. <laughs> you know what, while we're in here, let's look at some more stuff that would make cool movie nights. Because I just, that's what I love to see when I come in these places. And look at this. Here's Disney Princess Snack Bags. Um, I mean, if you have girls, you know, boys don't usually go for the princess stuff. Some of them do. But, I mean, if you're having a movie night and you're doing Disney princess stuff, you could get those. They even have Frozen 2. Here's Toy Story 4. And they have prints on them from the movie. That kind of stuff is so cool. Here's Mickey Mouse. And containers. You can do so much with containers to make movie nights fun. Like, look, I mean, these are pretty dang small to put stuff like this in. But, I mean, if you were having, like, a bunch of kids or something, a party, you could do that. You know, you could set up little snack things. Um, or these could also be for, like, if you were going to have chicken nuggets or something, you could put your little dipping sauces in these. That would be really cool. Look, you get ten of them for a buck. And if you guys remember when we did, um... Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I found the containers, kind of like this one here, that was rectangle shaped like that. And I just printed out a picture and I made them into Baby Brent sardines uh, containers. Now this one's a little bit smaller and then they even have smaller ones like this. But it was cool, if you didn't see the show, I printed that out, I glued it on the top so it looked like a sardine container. Um, in the movie, the Baby Brent Sardines was the name of the sardines. And then I put Swedish fish in there. So, I mean, it was, you know, kind of tied into the movie. It was like you were eating sardines while you're watching the movie. And speaking of Swedish fish, here they are. 
this store is just the greatest place to get like movie theater candy you know look at all of it in the boxes here sour patch kids skittles swedish fish raisinets starburst m&ms whoppers boston baked beans all kinds of stuff look dots i've never liked dots but man that's a that's a full of them too <laughs> butterfinger bites Ooh, gobstoppers look at the colors on this that is awesome warheads cubes holy crap i've never even seen those that's pretty cool but yeah i mean they just have all kinds of this movie theater candy in here which makes it so fun and look cotton candy mm -mm 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 -mm. gotta love cotton candy holy crap guys look at this gourmet chocolate chip pound cake that is a big heavy piece of pound cake right there for a buck mm, i could power through all that right now look they got tasty cakes lemon candy cakes I, i've never had this brand but man does it look good look at this chocolate honey buns mm -mm. look at this they have bags of pop rocks okay that's a three pack so we used to go down to the store like the gas station and get these packs of pop rocks and uh yeah you just pour them in your mouth and then they just they pop they're awesome assorted flavors mm -mm. i just get so excited when i come in here and look at this stuff because this reminds me of when my kids were little and uh you know we would just we'd either be going to the drive-in or we'd be getting ready for a movie night and look at this sour sketty <laughs> so much stuff oh my gosh yeah we'd be getting ready for the drive-in or a movie night and we'd come into the dollar tree and uh it, it would just be like okay yeah you guys can get three four things each because they're only a dollar each you know and they just go through this stuff and, and spend so much time picking out just the perfect little things and we'd always get like pizza and all that too but i mean you know then they'd have their own little stash of snacks and stuff for the movies and see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff that I love right here. Dinosaurs. Um, cherries. I don't know what cherries could tie into. But I mean, like, look at this. You got snakes. What is this? Star mix? That looks like little bottles. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But yeah, look at this. Sour streamers. All this stuff is so much fun for movie nights. Look at this. Sour bright octopus. Man, I mean, like, you could so theme your whole movie night in this place with candy and stuff. Look at this. You got llamas. You got sharks. If you were watching, like, Sharknado or something. <laughs> Look, we got Sour Bright Crawlers. Um, watermelon. Oh, my God. Sour Bright Sloths. Goonies. <laughs> but you could get something like this. The worms for um, Tremors or something. Theming movie nights is so fun. Just tying all your snacks into to whatever it is you're watching just brings you right into the movie. It's so much fun. And again, it's so much fun. I'll bet you anything. And this is just the way that I think. Yes, look at this. Okay, if you got kids and you want to get them excited about the movie night and you're like, tonight we're watching Frozen 2. And if they're like, I don't want to, then you'll be like, you got to get your bath first. And you pull out the Frozen 2 shampoo. You can tie it all in, guys. Holy crap. Look at this. We got Paw Patrol bubble bath back here. I mean, you can totally make it all fun. I think I've said this before, too. They have, like, this foam board where you could make movie posters. Because over here they have different kinds of sticky letters and everything. So you can make whatever movie posters you want. Look at this. You can design it however you want. Okay, look at this, guys. If you were watching something like Lilo and Stitch, they got all this luau stuff. Look at this, a bikini top that's supposed to be like the uh, the coconuts. <laughs> oh my god, they got lays here. All kinds of Hawaiian-looking stuff. I just love looking at all the uh, the party supplies and stuff. Look, if you were watching the Emoji movie... There's always emoji stuff. Look, this is a table cover and a centerpiece. That's hilarious. You could have an awesome emoji movie night. Look, party blowouts. Yeah, look at this. Around every corner is something you could use to tie into your movie nights. Here's more Disney princess stuff. 
What do we got down here? Oh, look, we got Dumbo. Dumbo. Transformers. Here's more Frozen stuff. Remember the movie Spirit? This is like, oh, this is a sun catcher. It's kind of like Shrinky Dinks, though, I think. Well, you paint them. I guess it's not Shrinky Dinks. Oh, look, Toy Story 4. I told you guys, there's all kinds of stuff you could tie into your movie nights in here. And it's all only a dollar. Oh my god, how cool is this? Spongebob wall decals. Oh man, I almost have to buy them. <laughs> I want them so bad. But what in the world would I do with them? Look, we got Trolls also. Trolls World Tour. So again, we're looking at stuff here that you could tie into your movie nights. All this stuff. Star Wars. The Mandalorian. Oh, and it's the Baby Yoda. Huh. Um, we got minions here. Let's see, anything else that's movie stuff? Well, here's Daniel Tiger. I mean, that's not a movie, but how many kids love Daniel Tiger? Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, my favorite. We have Marlin and Nemo and Dory. Uh, I mean, it's just a tiny little figure, but how cool is that? <laughs> oh my God, they even have Bruce. That is hilarious. Oh yeah, you could have a, a Jurassic Park movie night. Look, complete with grow dinosaurs. Most Jurassic dinosaurs grow huge. <laughs> I wonder how big this thing actually gets. Like they usually, they just absorb all the water and they get so big and they, it says it grows 600% of the original size. Now I don't know how big that is, but they get big and bulky and slimy. Yeah, growing dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Look at this, the trouble with T-Rex pop-out pack. T-Rex pops out too often, I guess. All right, guys, well, that's it for that Dollar Tree. I'm gonna mosey on to the next one. I really do wanna find some more of these DVDs. I know I'm obsessed right now, but uh, it's always fun going in those stores. You know, they have so much stuff that you could use to make movie nights with. And uh, that's just kind of person I am. I love that kind of stuff. I love to theme my movie nights. And All right. Well, I'm out. See you later.